So Big Red started as a CBR 1000, or what is known in Europe as a fire blade. It has a fully blueprinted CBR 1000 motor, which is force fed by a 72 millimeter Garrett custom turbo through a air to water intercooler. We control all that with a Motec M800, which data logs 22 channels of data every run. So we have a pretty good idea of everything that's going on during the runs. When we, uh, we dyno tune it, we have our own in-house dyno, and if we throw a boost at it, we can make about 500 horsepower to the rear wheel. We have 165 pounds of lead bolted underneath the bike to help make traction, even though we do have traction control. So 125 pounds right on the rear of the frame on each side by the shock and about 40 pounds in the front behind the water tank just to help make traction and also to make sure our CG is right versus CP, so center gravity versus center pressure. So we run Olin's forks, Olin's shock, front and rear, which are specially designed and fitted for the bike. We also run Marchesini wheels. We run the aluminum wheels, not the uh, magnesium, because we're not doing them for lightweight. We're doing them because we need to be able to put smaller gear on the bike, because we can't put a small enough rear sprocket on a stock Honda wheel. And speaking of gearing, we're running about 49% off of stock Honda gearing. So stock is a 1642. We're running a 1728. So the bike will run about 149 miles an hour in first gear. It'll run over 200 in third gear and over 300 in sixth gear. Okay, our body that we started with originally, as you see on Little Red, here just behind us on, on Big Red, started out as an Airtech Charlie toy body, and that's pretty much stock. And through 40 hours of wind tunnel time, we've modified, changed, lengthened, and a lot of that is because the rule changes, so they've allowed us to go longer with the tails, and the class we're running allows that. And then, so that's, the body has changed each year, and back through the wind tunnel, and when we get all that done and finished like we want, then we wrap it with a golf ball type wrap, which helps to reduce drag also. The new body that we have on Big Red now, which was built after our last Bolivia event, is about 18% slicker than the body that went 285 in Bolivia. So we, at this point, we have our own body molds, which we build. We also build the custom water tank in place of radiator. We build the air to water intercooler. We build the fairing mounts. We build the rear subframe and fuel tank. We build the water tank, the ice water tank that runs through the intercooler, as well as all the mounting parts for all of it. And so there's a lot of proprietary single one-off pieces on this bike. 